Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am doing a hashtag Ask Jack video which is my monthly, kind of monthly, Q&A video that I do. I ask you guys on Facebook and Twitter to send in your questions and I answer them and they're just so much fun because if you're into MySpace, back in the day they had these surveys where you just like, they're random questions like what's your favorite color? where, what are you doing right now, like things like that, and they were so fun. I would always do those surveys in the little bulletin section of MySpace. Throwback, I love those surveys. So these Q&As kind of remind me of that, so that's why I think they're so fun to do. So for this video, as you can tell by my little Santa hat, it is my Christmas edition of my hashtag Ask Jack Q&A series. I wanted to film in front of my Christmas tree, but it is not done being decorated yet. So I have this little guy back here, and that's as festive as it's gonna get for today. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the questions. Jennifer asks, Pretty Little Liars is today, I'm so excited, are you? I freaking love Jennifer so much for tweeting me this because I actually forgot that tonight was the Pretty Little Liars Christmas episode and I, I would told, I, I would have missed it if it wasn't for Jennifer, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I just finished watching it, it was amazing. Oh my gosh. Pretty Little Liars, Pretty Little Liars. So those of you who constantly remind me of Pretty Little Liars on Twitter, you guys are my lifesavers, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Libby asks, do you like seeing people's reaction when they open up gifts you got them? And to be honest, I actually get very anxious when people open my gifts because, like, the gifts that I give them, I get really anxious because I'm like, I want them to have a good reaction. Obviously, I wanna, I hope that they like the gift I gave them, but I'm also very good at reading people, so even if you act excited, but you're really not, I can tell. I can tell, and it, so I get really anxious. I'm like, please, please like it, please, please like it. And then when you open it, you're like, oh, I love it. I can tell you're faking. Don't fake, I can tell. I can read your energy. I can read people really well. So I always get very anxious. Maria asks, what's the weirdest present you have ever received? And this was actually not too long ago. It was last Christmas or the year before that. My mom bought me knives for Christmas. I got knives for Christmas. What the heck? Kind of a creepy gift to open. Like, ooh, what's under the tree for me? A set of knives. Like, I mean, I use them in my kitchen, but that was just really weird and strange. And some of you guys mentioned in the comments of like my daily vlogs that it's actually like bad luck to give someone knives or something like that. I'm not very superstitious, so I don't really know, but um, it was a, definitely a strange gift. Who gives knives for Christmas? That's scary. <laughs> Jennifer asks, what is something you feel happens in Christmas that is overdone and needs to chill out, lol? And to be honest, nothing. I love when things are over the top, especially during Christmas. I love, like, I love all the decorations, I love all the singing, the songs, the food. I love everything about Christmas, and I, me personally, I feel like there's not enough. I feel like there needs to be more. It needs to be more, bigger, over the top. More, more, more. <laughs> Lexi asks, do you like a real tree or an artificial one? And I've actually, I don't think I've ever had a real tree before. We've always had an artificial tree and it's just like easier. We just put it in the box, we put it up in storage, and when it's Christmas time we bring it down from storage so we don't have to buy a tree because we have our fake one that we've had for a zillion years. Um, and now that I'm living on my own, I've actually never had a tree. This is the first tree I bought and it was like $19. But the tree that I have now is a fake one and it's actually my boyfriend's mom's extra tree. So, and it's fake, so yeah. I've never had a real tree. <laughs> Maya asks, what is your favorite childhood Christmas song? The one I think of off the top of my head is Winter Wonderland. I don't know why, that was my favorite song to sing along to during the holidays, like, as a child. I don't know why I love that song so much. But it had to be a girl version. I don't care who was singing it, as long as it was a girl, it made me happy. Renee asks, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? 
And my favorite thing is definitely the spirit. Everybody just seems happier and cheerier and just jolly during the holidays and I love it. That's like, that's why I wish it could be Christmas all, all year long because people are just in such a good mood. People are so happy and smiling and so nice and I love, love, love that. I love the Christmas spirit. Like, we don't even need to give gifts anymore. Like, let's just have Christmas all year long so everyone is just happy and nice to each other and loving and cheery and jolly and it's just, I love it. I love, I love, love, love it. Keely asked, do you have any weird yet unique Christmas traditions that you or your family does slash do? I don't think me and my family do anything like unique or weird for Christmas. I feel like we're pretty basic actually. We wake up, the first one who wakes up, wakes up the whole family. Um, it's usually like, it's either Brooklyn who wakes up really early or it's either my dad who gets home from work and ends up waking up everyone in the morning. So um, it's either Brookie or my dad that wakes everybody up and then we all go to the Christmas tree in our pajamas. We don't even brush our teeth. And one year I wanted to like look all cute before we opened gifts so because we take pictures obviously and I wanted to look cute in the pictures but they got mad at me. They're like, no, just straight out of bed. And, and so we go in our PJs morning breath and all and we go to the Christmas tree and we open our presents and after that we clean up all of the trash because there's gift wrapper everywhere and then we just hang out the rest of the day. That's basically our Christmas. Mm -hmm. Vivian asked most memorable Christmas experience and the one that sticks out to me the most is the time that my family and I we did a road trip to Oklahoma which we do pretty often actually but we went to Oklahoma we had Callie with us and we just spent Christmas with my grandparents, my aunts, and my uncles, and we were just all there as a family in Oklahoma, and it was so, so nice, and it was actually like winter weather. It was really, really cold. Like, there was no snow, but it was so, so cold, and so we got to bundle up. We even saw, like, Christmas lights while we were there, and it was just by far like my most favorite Christmas ever. Jerrica asked, are you dreaming of a white Christmas? Indeed I am. Deborah asked, what is the best present you have ever received slash given? Received? Let me think, let me think. Probably this camera right here. Got it from my daddy. He's the best. Oh yeah. The best present I've ever given? I don't know. I mean, I always try to make my gifts very heartfelt, um, and I, I, I love putting thought into gifts. Ooh, okay, I thought of two. I thought of two just now. So the first one is I actually made some of my friends these mugs, these like little coffee mugs, and I, I personalized it each to their own personality, and um, I don't know if they really liked it or not, but I loved making it for them, and I thought they were really special because it kind of... It kind of showed, like when I had all the mugs together when I was finished, it kind of showed like the personality of each of my friends and I thought it was just really cool and that that was one of my favorite gifts I've given. And then also the second one was a gift I gave to my sister Caitlin. It was a throwback gift. We used to play this game called Bust a Groove all the time on PlayStation and it's kind of like a dancing game but with controllers, you're not really dancing. But that was like our favorite game, like, growing up and I searched the internet, Amazon, eBay, everything to find this game. It was so totally overpriced for a video game but I think it's just because it was so old and so I bought that for her and she was so surprised and it, it was like exciting for me because it was like very nostalgic for her to open it, for her to see it and for us to play together. It was it was like a throwback. I love that. That was like probably my favorite gift I've given. And that is all I have for today's Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have a question for me and want to be featured in my next Q&A video, be sure to send me the question using the hashtag AskJack. Make sure you put three A's in the Jack because that's me. There's another AskJack, but that's not me. That's not me. I am this one. Ask Jack. This is me. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing and I love you so, so much. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing holiday no matter what you celebrate or even if you don't celebrate anything. I hope you have an amazing day and know that you guys are so beautiful, so special and I love each and every single one of you. You guys are my little flowers. And I love flowers because flowers are so beautiful, unique, dainty and delicate. And that's what you guys are. My little flowers, I love you. Okay, I'm being weird now. So happy holidays, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, have a magical day.
Oh, dang it. I got it on my fingers. I always do that. And I just wiped it on my pants. So great. Hiya. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. You got like the ugliest poses ever. Oh lordy, okay. Drum roll please, because it is time to announce my little flower of the week. So this week it goes to Fantastic T1 on Twitter, and here she is rocking her Jack Jack shirt, and she looks absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, girl, for sending in a picture, and if you guys want to be my next little flower of the week, be sure to pick up a Jack Jack shirt, there's a link below, and post a picture of you wearing the shirt using the hashtag Jack Jack in the caption so I can easily find it and you might just be featured in next week's video. So that is basically it. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, blog, whatever. Everything is linked below and as well as my previous video. So don't forget to check that out because it was a fun video I filmed with my friend Karis. So go check it out. I love you. Okie dokie. Bye bye. Mwah.